guys have had a lot of games this year that have been dominated start to finish, but how rewarding is it that it seems for the most part any time the opposition gains any kind of momentum, you guys snatch it right back pretty quickly? Well, I mean, I, and I think it's done in a couple ways. I think it's done, you know, if teams score, we've been able to respond offensively and kind of, um, you know, you do that to us, we'll do it to you. But also, um, you know, when team, we, 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 I don't want to say create innings for other people, but we may load the bases or we may put runners on base, but we're able to make those big pitches when it counts to get out of it too. And, and that's kind of deflating on the other side of it. And I just think that really is, um, a reflection of the maturity and the confidence that the guys have. They're playing very confidently. Um, you know, they're not worried about the result. They're just kind of out there focusing on the next pitch. And, and when you do that, uh, offensively or defensively, you give yourself a pretty good chance. Were you uh, surprised, just based on how the conversation was going, that he tossed you? Well, the conversation wasn't going very well. <laughs> uh, um, you know, it, it's funny. I, they, my players just reminded me that they were kind of like excited. Like, that's the first time, you know, since, and I thought about it, since the guys in that locker room, they'd never, get, they'd never seen me get thrown out. Um, I would just say this. It's like, you know, there was t two times I entered the diamond. One, what I don't really know, you know, but it's kind of like baseball tells you, 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 know, you, you kind of need to go out there and just make your point a little bit. But the first play, I, you know, he's, he's really close to it. You can see it. I'm referring to the Torkelson yeah. uh, tag at second when it appeared that he beat the throw or whatever and got around it. But you know what? I really didn't know. I, I couldn't see it. Um, so I, you know, calmly asked him the question, you know, hey, man, what would you have? And he said, I had this. And I said, okay. You have way better look at it than I do. Mm -hmm. I guess why I was so upset about the other play was because from my vantage point where I was in the dugout, I could see the catch. I could see him start from second. I was pretty sure of myself. And I think if you're going to make that type of call at that point in the game, it, it needs to be pretty clear. Mm -hmm. And like I just said on the radio, I'll let you all watch the replay and you can decide. You know, so and, and, and I don't and I'm not like defending myself either. Like he was appropriate in throwing me out. You know, I have no. He did exactly what he should have done, and um, I'm proud about that. But I was pretty upset about that because I just I just didn't I did not agree with the call at that time. Um, but you know, I, I lost my cool and he threw me out. It, it, well, he said he left early, right? It wasn't he, the tag. He or said he left early. He left early. Okay, that's something. <laughs> yeah. Sam Ramirez has been a bit of an um, like unsung hero so far this year. Zero point seven zero year right now. His goal is tonight. What's the, what's the importance of this team and, and how has he been so successful? successful so far um, unsung to whom? He just got the player of the game for us. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, he just he he's steady. Um, I've said this multiple times in here. It's like he's in the appropriate role. And, and, and what I mean by that is like that's a, a guy that can come in and, and kind of calm the ship a little bit when things are going. And he's done and he has served his role um, really, really well. So, you know, I, I would say he's appreciated by all. You know, when you say the unsung, I say that facetiously, but I'm saying he is, he is appreciated and he is accepted and he is executed. Probably more importantly, he has executed his role um, really, really well. Uh, we wouldn't be in the position we are right now from a, a one loss uh, standard um, if it wasn't for what he's doing. When you go out, does BG take over the decisions in the dugout, or is I it? Yes, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's probably yeah. I'm, uh, he did, I'm, from an offensive standpoint, yes. Uh, we didn't even discuss it. You know, okay. and I, I, I just went and took my shower. So, so he's the one who called the the hit and run then when Torkelson I, came I, around I, to score. Was it full count? I think it was 3-1. Oh, yeah. yeah, but they were playing back. Right? Yeah. So, yeah, that was him. That was a good call by him. Mm -hmm. it, that on the resume. Is that tough to execute when you have him at third and early at first and like no one's really calling it from the dugout? Well, it's all... no, because, I mean, Ben's been with me for a long time. Um, and it's funny because we're pretty insane. Um, he'll, he'll, he'll know kind of what I'm thinking and, and calling. But, uh, and there's sometimes we'll say, hey, man, you go out. I'll tell him, hey, go, you go ahead and take it. So, but I thought that was a, a, a 
in that situation was good. I think we did it one time earlier in the game too. They were playing behind with Bishop up, and I think you know, strategically they're probably wanting Torkelson to run, and it makes the decision easy for them to walk Bishop after that. But in that situation, a 3 1 count, something's probably going to happen. So that was a, a good call by Ben. I was talking to Kevin the other day about Vander Coy, and he was saying how he wanted him to approach this game after what happened at Oregon and whatnot. And it seemed like he did exactly what he was talking about, even after the, they hit the home run. Um, so it seemed like it was a significant improvement. A big improvement. I mean, you know, with Boyd, it's, it's, it's just getting him to, you know, to settle in and um, go into the season. May sound crazy based on what Marsh is doing, but we literally were a toss up of like who's the Friday guy, and um, you know, but it's it's maturation too. You know, he's got the stuff, he's got the, the, the physical, everything, and, and just getting comfortable being in that role. But I thought he took a huge step forward tonight in, in that and the test. You know, it's it's easy when things are going great, but yeah, you give up a three run homer. Now what do you do? And he stepped back on. If I'm if memory serves me correctly, pumped a, a nice quality strike in there, strike one. Of Guy and got us from out of the inning, so that was uh, showed some maturity, and that's what we're going to need down the stretch out of him if we're going to be where we need to be. When you see him pitch so well, and then have those small moments, whether that was like in Oregon or the three-run homer tonight, how much does it make you think like this, the struggles or the spurts of struggles are mental for him? Um, I, I don't. I, I, I'm more like a guy hit a three-run homer. I don't worry about that. Like for me, it's like. If you're walking guys or you're pitching tentatively ahead of him, that. So, you know, Marsh, we were talking to, to Marsh today um, about the, the guys hit two solo shots off of him yesterday. We're like, you know what? You'll never hear me complain about that. You're being aggressive. Same thing with Boyd tonight. I would agree with you. I think he was, I think he was being aggressive tonight. You know what? Uh, those guys give scholarships too. You know, they're good hitters, and that guy got one, and he put a good swing on it hit it out but so what we were looking for is now how are you going to respond to that and I thought he responded very well and responded in a very mature fashion if he continues to do that and grow on that uh, no issues from our end none when you went out there um, after the home run with the trainer what specifically was the issue well if you, if you um, and I didn't catch all of it I kind of caught the tail end but he like slipped you know he, he I, you know I think the immediate fear was his arm you know when the guy slips and does something like that but I kind of got relieved, like about five feet from the mound. I heard him say something about his back. And I was, you know, I was like, okay, cool, it's back. Uh, <laughs> uh, but he, he was great because he was like, hey, I'm fine, I'm fine. And they threw that first pitch, and I looked at the uh, screen and it said 77. I was like, wait a minute, you're not fine. And he let the next one loose at 91, and uh, we're like, okay, he's good. He, so that shows some competitiveness in him. Did that go away, or did he still have a – was it still no, kind of – okay. He just slipped on that one pitch. It looked odd. With the with the offense right now, does does pressure mount on them just the more they're successful and the more on our offense. Yeah. That they kinda almost raise expectations. No, because um, you gotta where where I where I like where we are is we don't think about that stuff. Like we don't. We we try to take all of the stuff that you all talk about. And we, 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 we just condense it to say, you know, none of that matters. What matters is, is grinding out one pitch at a time, one at bat at a time. And if you do that, you know, then you're going to have lofty numbers that everybody can talk about. But we don't, um, our guys don't think about that. They really don't. And they, they've taken a very mature approach to their craft. And, um, you know, I've, it's all about consistency. And the way you have consistency is you just focus on what you can control. And I think we're doing a pretty good job. You know, like Hawk Hopper, I mean, he struggled a little bit early, stuck into the, you know, and stayed with it, made the hit, and got played well defensively, made a great defensive play. If, if you're immature and you're taking your at-bats or you're adding all of these other things in, maybe he doesn't make that play defensively. So I just don't think our guys are worried about that. Speaking to that point, would you say that's maybe the best first inning that you guys have had all year? 